every time I put this Cardi on, I just get such Beetlejuice ghoul vibes. Like, I can't even with this Cardi. How it turned out, I just absolutely love it. And the fact that I'm basically walking around with a blanket all day, so I'm like incredibly snuggly, then throw in some coffee and I'm just, I'm good to go. I'm good to go for the day. What is up everybody and welcome back to Alt Knots. Happy day number 21 of Halloween, you guys. We are basically there. It is the 21st of October. It is incredible. So I really hope that you have your costume picked out, your candy that you're gonna want, your crochet project that you're planning on working on, or if you have some spooky crochet that you want done by Halloween, like you still definitely have time because I have quite a few projects left that I wanna like finish up here. Seven to be exact. I have seven projects that I'm wanting to finish before Halloween. So I know I can do it too because I'm going to. I started them, I have to I have to finish them. Like I just have to. And they're just so perfect for Halloween that they're going to get done. Like it's just whatever. I just I have to continue to supply in my body with copious amounts of caffeine and I'll be fine. We'll power through it. If this is your first time here at Alt Knots, welcome and I'm crazy excited that you're here. Basically, if you love spooky crochet, alternative crochet, if Halloween is your season, just put that all together in crochet form and that's exactly what this channel is. So, super glad you stopped by to hang out. Definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell as well because it's the 21st, but every single day this month, so for the entire month of Halloween, we're having something going on every single day. So if that sounds super frightful to you, definitely subscribe and come hang out at Alt Knots. This sweater is like thick. Obviously, if you can see it here, it is thick with a capital T and is super, super cozy warm. Um, it has officially snowed here in Minnesota, just like inches have piled up already and I'm like super not happy about that. But it makes me super happy that I get to bust out all my Cardi's and my warm snugglies. So it kind of balanced out. Like I'm annoyed by the snow, but also I live here. So it is to be expected, but with my coffee and the heat on and this on, it's actually almost a little bit too warm for me right now, which I'm like crazy excited about because eventually we'll be in like the negative degree weather and um, I just hate being cold. So it's good to know that I'll have a ton of these snugglies laying around and I can just like warm my body up and stay warm. That's my thing. I hate when I'm cold inside my house. So this is good news for me that this is going to keep me warm throughout the winter. So it just means that I need to go ahead and crank out quite a few more of these to just have laying around the house. Speaking of my coffee here, I have Brutality's Guts and Glory, which is their dark roast, and I love it. Um, and I felt like being a little fancy today, I was just really craving some mint flavor. So I have a little bit of mint extract, some MCT oil, and um, a, like a half a teaspoon of cocoa powder in here. And then I blended it up, and it's so good. Like peppermint patties are literally my favorite candy. So the fact that it basically tastes like a peppermint patty, but with caffeine, Super yummy, like I am here for this coffee today. So today though, we do have the Fright Club to go ahead and dive into and have it right up here, along with my bucket that has all of the stuff that we've got for the entire month so far. I just, I just keep it down here now. I'm like, obviously we're gonna get some cool stuff and I need to show some of the yarn too. So I've gotten a little smarter and just kept it out. Like, I don't know why I was like trying to hide it anyways, but Today is the 21st. We have a little skull with that slime green color that I absolutely love. Obviously, because that's what we have here today. But let's see, the 21st, we're getting down there, guys. There are not that many packages left here. Let's see. All right, 21st. Found it here. The little skull there. And it feels squishy, so I'm thinking it's going to be yarn today, which I'm all right with. I love getting yarn. So let's see what color we got today. Ooh, uh, so we got some more of the vibrant, bright, witchy purple. Oh my gosh, guys. So um, we do have two different colors of purple that we've gotten from this Fright Club. And this one definitely is a lot more vibrant. Let me grab the other one here. 
So we have this one that's like almost a like a swampy, spooky type of purple, and then this one that is just like killer, witchy, vibrant. Both of them are super beautiful, and I love them, and I want I want them in like big actual real skeins. I love these colors. Like this is a cowl. Oh, that would be so pretty. Like I I would really love that. So after this, I need to go on to like Jimmy Bean's site and uh, check out like what type of yarns they have on there. Because obviously they probably have this yarn on their site. And if you haven't checked out the Fright Club or you don't know what the Fright Club is, if this is your first time here, um, basically I have the link down below, Jimmy Bean Wool. It's just this amazing thing that they came up with for the spooky season. And at the end of it, it ends up making this amazing cowl, this very, very Halloween-y cowl. Because, I mean, obviously, look at all these beautiful colors that are coming out of it. And there are two different versions. There is a bright version and a mellow version, and I definitely opted for the bright version. So if you're interested in that and seeing what it's gonna end up looking like at the end, definitely click on the link down below. So then you can have a finished picture of what it's gonna look like. This pattern that we have here today, I am super excited about, like genuinely excited. So this is the very first Cardi that I have actually created wrote the entire pattern down and did a tutorial for. So I am super excited about this. And like I said, it's basically like a giant blanket. You're just wearing a blanket all day, keeping warm, and I'm here for it. Like I literally love everything about this. So a little bit more about this pattern. It is a super beginner type of cardigan. Um, there are so many beautiful crochet cardies out there and I have made tons of cardigans because they're just like one of my favorite things to make too because wearable art is definitely something very cool and when you wear it out and people are like wow that is fantastic that looks fierce where did you get it being able to say that you made it is like such a really cool thing to have like obviously so this one is incredibly beginner friendly like i cannot say that enough so beginner friendly the basis of the pattern here is a rectangle so we're going to be using a 10 millimeter hook and this yarn here, which is super thick and chunky, let me go grab it to show. So the yarn that we're gonna be using is this Charisma yarn, and it is in the color Dragonfly, and it's super beautiful. But if you look at it here, it's really thick, really chunky, and it's an acrylic, and um, so there's not a lot of fibers that are gonna come off. It doesn't get um, caught on your hook. So super beginner friendly, it crochets up really really nicely and obviously it looks fantastic in the end but it's just a very beginner friendly type of yarn um, it says on here that it suggests to use a nine millimeter hook but I wanted the stitches to be a little further apart let me show you here because for the entirety of the rectangle that you're gonna be making it's gonna be a single crochet in the back loop only so I wanted it to to have a 10 millimeter hook so it gave it a little extra room to breathe. Basically with a 10, it's just gonna give it a little bit of extra movement. Then on the sides for the arms, um, we're doing the same thing. We're just gonna make a foundation chain using the 10 millimeter hook, a uh, single crochet across, and then a single crochet in the back loop only across again. And that's what you do in order to complete the arms here. And for this one, I did decide to put thumb holes in it, and I'm all about thumb holes in sweaters. It just, I feel like it makes it so much more snuggly. So let me show you here. So I freaking love thumb holes in sweaters. Like it, it just gives it an extra bit of snuggle because then it, the sleeve comes over like past your knuckles and just basically makes it feel like a blanket even more. But if thumb holes are not your thing, it's super easy to um, just not add that because all we're doing is skipping three stitches uh, and that's it. So if you don't want the thumb hole, just keep on going. Just keep on working single crochet in the back loop only and that's it. So nothing super crazy. It's definitely versatile. You can do whatever you want with it. As for the length and the width of the Cardi here, it's super customizable. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to have a tape measure here with you and measure from the nape of your neck all the way down to where you want your cardigan to stop. So I measured from the nape of my neck all the way down to the middle of my thighs because I wanted it to be a big Cardi. Like I wanted it to be snuggly. So measure that 
and then that is going to be the length of your foundation chain. So super customizable, however you want it. If you want it to be a little snugger, go ahead and make it a little shorter and then it'll rise up a little bit to where, you know, if you want it like your, the height of your pants or something, then that's, you can just measure to there and that's how long it will be. So very, very customizable. Same with the length of the arms. Um, however long you want it, you're going to take your tape measure again and once we fold the rectangle in half, you see that it has a little bit of overlap here. Um, it goes to here, you just put your tape measure of where the middle piece, the main piece stopped, measured the length of how long you want. So like I said, I did mine a little bit extra, so I think I measured all the way to the tip of my fingers because I wanted it to be super long, snuggly, very bulky type of sweater, but just measure it however to whatever length you want. Lastly, around the edging, we have this gorgeous, ghoulish, toxic slime faux fur by Lion Brands here that I've been obsessing over. If you've been a part of this channel, even for like a little bit, you know that I'm totally obsessing over this color for the season. I don't know why, I just, I haven't worked with this color. I've just been, I don't know, I've been under a rock, I guess. I hadn't seen this color in yarn form and now I'm obsessed with it and it's just in everything that I'm creating. So, um, this type of yarn, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I'll show you that again here, but so I totally understand that some people don't like working with this because there's a lot of floof. It is kind of impossible to see your stitches when you're working with it. Um, sometimes it gets frustrating, but the only th reason that I still consider this a super beginner friendly type of pattern is we're not going back around. So we're attaching this onto the edging here. And so you just pick a spot, attach it and just single crochet all the way around and then stop. That's it. So I don't ever ask you to try to find your stitches here and build like back on top of it and go around it again. It's literally just edging. So we're only single crocheting all the way around one time. So, and I just personally, I feel like it just elevates the sweater. Like it has such rich Halloween colors in it and the toxic slime just adds to it. So I personally love that it's added onto it, but if it's not your thing, obviously, don't add it, it's totally fine. And I do actually have pictures of it before without the fur, and I still love it. And I mean, right now I am in the process of making a couple more of these sweaters, and they don't have the fur on them. So I have a black, a green, and a red one, and a purple one, I think, that I'm making. So. Yeah, I've got a lot of them going, but a couple of them have the fur and a couple of them don't. And I still like them with or without the fur. So just fun options if you're into it or if you're like me and you're obsessed with this color now and just want it in everything, this is a perfect way to add that color to the project. All right, so that is all there is for this project here. I know it looks like a lot, but I'm literally not lying when I tell you it's super beginner friendly because it just is, and once you get into the first couple of rows, you're totally gonna agree and you're just gonna fly through it. Also, I do have another pattern that I literally just worked up last night just because I'm so obsessed with this and I just want it on everything and everywhere that I whipped these up literally last night and I'm obsessed. <laughs> First and foremost, I love fingerless mitts and the fact that this is just Beetlejuice Halloween inspired type of mitt. I love them so much. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys because I, since I just made it literally last night, I didn't have it planned for the 31 days of Halloween. But um, comment down below if you guys wanna see this tutorial because I love how they turned out. Like I genuinely love how they turned out and I feel like they're super cute and just destined to be in the 31 days of Halloween because they're just so spooky and so fun. And like I said, where I'm at, it's snowing now. So these will come in handy. But if you're interested in this tutorial, definitely comment down below, let me know and um, I'll move some things around here and try to get in for the 31 days of Halloween then. I was not lying when I told you guys that I literally had like 12 projects just laying around that I wanted to get done before Halloween. So I'm sure this will not be the last impromptu type of pattern here that I'm gonna be showing you. So anyways, I think they turned out killer. So hopefully you guys like them too. 
after all of that yarn chit chat, I think that is all I have to say about this pattern. So if you're crazy excited about this still, let's go ahead and grab all our materials and jump into the pattern. All right, so some of the things that we're gonna need in order to make this Cardi, one skein of the Gopher Faux in the color Glowworm, five skeins of the Charisma yarn here in the color Dragonfly, and one in the color Black, one nine millimeter crochet hook, one 10 millimeter crochet hook, one pair of scissors, one tape measure, one stitch counter, one yarn needle, one yarn bowl, and with a cup of caffeine, we're good to go. So first off, you're gonna need to grab that tape measure and go ahead and measure how long you want your sweater to be. So from the nape of your neck to wherever you want it to stop, I went from the, my neck all the way to the middle of my thigh and I'm 5'5", so I ended up chaining 101 in order to achieve that length. So go ahead and chain the amount of chains that you need in order to achieve that measurement that you just took to create your foundation chain. Once your foundation chain is completed, go ahead and place one single crochet in that second chain from your hook there. Then continue to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way across your foundation chain. For row number two, we're gonna chain one and then turn our project. And for this row, we're gonna to start to work in the back loop only. So in that very first stitch, you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook into the back loop only. So the loop that is furthest from you, go ahead and insert your hook in there. Then you're gonna go ahead and yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over again, and pull through all two loops, completing your first single crochet. Once you've completed that, go ahead and do that all the way across for row number two, placing one single crochet in each back loop only. Next, you're gonna have to grab a tape measure again in order to measure the width that you want your Cardi to be. So um, for me, I ended up doing a width of 28 inches and all we're gonna do is repeat everything that we just did for row number two. So for me, it ended up being rows three through 58 I repeated everything we did in row number two, just chain one, turn your project, one single crochet in each back loop only. So go ahead and run through all of that then. Um, like I said, totally customizable. Pick the width that you want, just run through there and continue making your giant rectangle for the Cardi. Once you have the rectangle totally made, go ahead and fold your project in half here, making sure that the rows are going horizontal when you fold them. Next, we're gonna start to slip stitch up, up the side here in order to create the hole at the top that you're gonna actually put your arm through. So once again, this is gonna be super customizable. For me, I ended up doing 30 slip stitches and that the top area, you're left with a little pocket for your arm to go through. So go ahead and measure your arm, decide the measurement that you want your pocket left on top there. Then that is how many slip stitches you're gonna have to go up the side in order to get to that measurement. So this is what it's gonna end up looking like once you're done. The pocket up on top there, the side where you folded over your project is gonna create the armhole. Then go ahead and do all of that on the other side in order to make the other armhole for your Cardi. Once both sides are done, this is basically what it's gonna look like here. So you're gonna have the seams on either side and you're just gonna open it up and this is basically the majority of your Cardi already finished. So you can decide either to weave in the ends now or go ahead and wait and to do it all the way till the end. Next, we're gonna be creating the arms to go for this Cardi. So go ahead and grab your tape measure and measure the length that you want that to be. So for me, I ended up measuring about 15 inches. And so for my foundation chain, I chained 32. So grabbing that black Charisma yarn there, you're gonna go ahead and attach it under your hook. And then for your foundation chain, you're gonna chain the amount that you need in order to get that measurement that you just took. So like I said, mine ended up being 32 for about 15 inches, but go ahead and chain the number that you need for your arms to start off your foundation chain. So 
So make sure you measure your foundation chain there for the exact measurement that you want for the arm length of your cardi here. Then we're gonna be working in the second chain from your hook and we're gonna be placing one single crochet inside that stitch. Then that's where we're gonna do all the way across that foundation chain, placing one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. For row number two, we're gonna go ahead and chain one and turn our project. And then we're gonna be starting to work in the back loop only once again. So go ahead and place one single crochet in each back loop only all the way across for row number two. For row number three, go ahead and chain one and turn your project. And this is the row that we're gonna actually make that thumb hole if you're interested in that. So in that very first loop, you're gonna do one single crochet in the back loop only followed by the next two stitches, one single crochet in the back loop only. Next, you're gonna go ahead and chain three. This will create the opening that we need in order for a thumb hole. Then go ahead and count across and we're gonna skip the next three stitches. And then in that fourth stitch, you're gonna go ahead and place one single crochet in the back loop only. And that will create the opening for your thumb there. For the remainder of row number three, you're gonna go ahead and place one single crochet in the back loop only all the way across. Next, you're gonna need that tape measure again because now we're gonna to start to build the width of our sleeve. So go ahead and measure what you would like for the width of your sleeve here, and that's how many rows are gonna correlate. So for me, I did rows four through 19, and all we're gonna do is repeat everything we did in row number two. So we're gonna go ahead and chain one, turn our project, then place one single crochet in the back loop only all the way across. So. Go ahead and build out as many rows as you need in order to create the width for your sleeve. Once you have that created, then all you need to do is fold over that sleeve and we're gonna place one slip stitch in each stitch all the way across in order to close up the sleeve. Once that's completed, go ahead and grab your scissors and cut that working yarn because this sleeve is done. Go ahead and weave in both of the ends on the sleeve and repeat the process one more time. Next, in order to add the fur edge in here, you're gonna need a nine millimeter crochet hook and also your, obviously, your faux fur here. So go ahead and attach that faux fur onto your hook. Then go ahead and pick a spot on the edge of your cardigan there and attach that faux fern yarn. So yarn over, pull it through. Then we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around to add the faux fur edging. Now that all of the parts of the cardi are completed, we're gonna work on attaching both of the sleeves on to the body of the cardi here. So here's where you're gonna need your yarn needle, grab a little bit of either the black yarn or the dragonfly yarn, whichever one you want to use in order to attach it on there, but go ahead and use your yarn needle and basically just weave the sleeve right in that sleeve hole that you created from the cardi. Once you have those bolts attached, that's all there is. So as you can see, I still had all of my ends to weave in. So that's what I did at the end. Then go ahead and turn it inside out so your seams are on the inside. And that is all there is in order to make this super beginner friendly cardi. All right, so that's all there is in order to make this amazing Halloween toxic slime 
Beetlejuice inspired type of Cardi. I genuinely hope you guys enjoyed this so much because I had so much fun making it. And like I said, I already have about four more of these going because I just freaking love them. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to comment down below. Send me off a black heart. Let me know that you love it so I can keep on creating more patterns just like this. Uh, like I said, it's continuing to get colder where I'm at. So I am all about making more snuggly, warm type of crochet items. All right, you guys, but that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you genuinely enjoyed this brand new Cardi, and I will see you in my next video tomorrow.